Hello and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to talk about constructors. Constructors are a special method which is run every time you create an instance of a class. To keep things simple I'm going to add another class in this file and I'm going to call it program. And down here I'm going to create an instance of the class. I'm going to choose a name to refer to it. I'm going to say my program equals to new program. So right here we have created an instance of this class. So we created a new object of this class. So now in our program class I'm going to create a new constructor. I'm going to set it public. We're going to talk about access modifiers in the upcoming lectures. Public is one of them. And now let's get back to our constructor. The difference between the constructor and the method is that the constructor doesn't have a return type, not even void. So a method must have a return type, whilst the constructor cannot have a return type. The name of a constructor must always be the same of the class. So in this case, it's program. It has the parentheses same as the method and the curly braces as well. Constructor must match the name of the class, so the first letter should be uppercase. So I'm going to create here a sysout just to see when this constructor is running, and I'm going to call it first constructor. So if I run this class, we're going to see the first constructor on the console. The constructor would run even if you would just type new program, parenthesis and semicolon. So if we run this, the constructor will run again. So it's this part of the statement that makes the constructor run. So this is the important bit. So another thing that you use constructors for is initialization of instance variables. For example, I will say here in value and within the constructor I'm going to give this variable a value. Let's say value equals to 12. Now I know that every time this constructor runs, this variable called value will have the value 12. Now, just like methods, constructors can also have parameters. However, the name of the constructor will always remain the same, as we already said, because it has to match the exact name of the class. So I'm going to give here a parameter called value. Here you can see that we have declared a local variable called value so we've given it the same name as the instance variable which is called value as well if we say value equals right here this variable right here will be used so as you can see uh, local variables mask the instance variables so in the scope of this constructor if we say only value this parameter right here will be used and you may be tempted to say value equals value and you might mean that you want this instance variable equal to this local variable but that is not how you do it that is what we use this keyword for so we should say this dot value this dot value refers to the instance variable and it sets it equal to this parameter right here. So now the value of this parameter equals to 12. So that is what we use this keyword for. Then I'm going to add the sysout statement. And I'm going to say second constructor. And 
and now we can think of this part here as a call to the constructor. So if we want to call the second constructor, which takes one parameter, an int variable, we should say program my program one, for example, new program, and we should give it an int value, and then the semicolon. First, we should add a semicolon right here. And if we run this program, both of the constructors will be run. So here is the first and the second constructor. So Java will be looking at the parameters and then will mesh the constructors. So if we add an int value into the parentheses, Java will be looking for a constructor that has an int variable as a parameter, which is this one right here. And if we give an empty parenthesis, it will output the constructor with no parameters. We can also have a constructor that accepts multiple parameters. For example, public program int value. I'm going to add here another instance variable. String stacks, for example, and I'm going to say here string stacks, then I'm going to set these local variables equals to our instance variables, this dot value equals to value in this dot text equals to text. I'm gonna say here sysout third constructor. Now to invoke this constructor in our main method we should give the constructor uh, two parameters one int variable and a string variable. So I will say here program2 equals to new program. I'm going to give it an int value and the string value. I'm going to put here a semicolon. So now if I run this, all of the constructors will be called. So here we added the third constructor. You can see the Java is selecting the right constructor depending on the parameter list. So another thing that we're going to mention in this lecture is that sometimes we want to call a constructor within another constructor. So if we would like the second constructor to be called whenever we call the first constructor, we should say something like this. So we're going to use the this keyword once again, but here it's not the same as we used it right here. This one is followed by the parenthesis, and to call the second constructor, you should give the proper parameter list. So for example, we should say here 5. So now every time this constructor is called, it will call the second constructor as well. This followed by parentheses and an end value will make this possible. So this is what we call the call to the constructor. So you cannot call constructors, for example, program 5. This will give you an error. This will not call this constructor. The only way to call constructors is by using this keyword or the super keyword followed by parentheses which we will talk about later on when we will learn inheritance. But for now, this is the right way to call the constructor. And don't forget, this must be the first line within the constructor. So, once again, this followed by parentheses is a call to the constructor, whilst this dot a variable is used to set local variables equals to instance variables. So even though they might sound the same, they are totally different. 
So now if we run this, we can see that when we call the first constructor, it will first call the second constructor and then run the first constructor. You could call the constructor with no parameters as well. You will just leave the parentheses empty. So as you can see right here, the first constructor is called from the third constructor. As we said, this followed by parentheses, the call to the constructor must be the first statement. So you cannot call two constructors within a constructor. So this is not valid because this must be the first line within the constructor. So you cannot call two constructors within one constructor. So that's it for the constructors. I'm going to see you in the next lecture with more interesting stuff. So see you there.